That is one oily and greasy face. And as it should be, because I've just had one very long day at the office today. Um, technically not really my office because I am now um, outstationing um, in a, a different uh, part of Malaysia. It's, it's just a, another city, another state. Um, and I am basically on the road traveling and I'm gonna be here in this very small hotel room that you can see behind me, not a lot of space uh, for the next four days or so. So I'm here um, for business. I'm, I'm here to do my work as a, as a course instructor. The course I'm giving is a communications course for uh, lecturers, for educated teachers um, at a local polytechnic institution here. So the polytechnic institutions in Malaysia are all um, public uh, institutions. They're all government, they, they, they are government owned. Um, so everything I do should com or must comply within you know the government guidelines. I've been doing this, uh, this is my second time now. So I've been doing this since last year. Last year was my first time. So this time around this year, um, I've got some of that experience from the first time last year. So I think it should go better, or at least I think it, it has been so far. But first day, I am knackered. I'm, I've literally just walked in and that is why you see this right before your eyes. So um, I wanted to just do a quick one this time uh, today. Um, one, because I'm just so tired. Um, all I can think about is just collapsing in bed in a bit after I, I, I do this um, and just and just call it a day, turn it in really early or turn in really early, sorry. Um, and yeah, and then get ready for another long day tomorrow because the, the, the day starts really early uh, for these kind of courses. They go on for the whole day. So the other reason is um, for me to let, uh, share with you uh, some tips on keeping yourself fit and keeping active when you're on the road like this traveling and you're in a hotel room. I mean, you can see for yourself here, there's not a lot of space, okay? This is probably no more than, I'd say 500 square feet. No more, definitely no more than that. Um, but even within this very confined space and area, you can still make the best out of it. And these are sort of my essentials when I'm traveling. Um, they are light and they are portable and just easy to carry anywhere. So they're in here. So these are my essentials. Now, I did bring my swimsuit because there is a swimming pool here, but I haven't checked whether the pool is open. Um, if it is, I'll probably go for a, a, a dip uh, tomorrow or later on in the week if I feel like, you know, if I'm up for it and I feel like it. And also if my, my um, hamstring allows as well. Um, I'm still recovering from my hamstring injury. It's still just been uh, just about over a week. So I need to keep things light. So the other thing that would go well with my rehab program right now because I need to keep things light are these resistance bands. So I, I, I have spoken about resistance bands quite a bit in the past in my other videos and that they are just so portable and easy and light to carry and you can literally just take them anywhere with you. It can fit in this sort of duffel bag like this, it can fit in your suitcase like that, you can if you're driving this you know you can have this in your car with you at all times even if you're traveling um by um by airplane this will definitely fit in a suitcase and definitely will not have any problems with it uh being checked in or as a carry-on so these resistance bands i got on online and uh they cost next to nothing right these are the gener generic ones um they don't necessarily have a brand but yeah, um, in Malaysia, in Malaysia ringgit, this is um, roughly about 50, 50 ringgit, something like that. It's it's a generic Chinese knockoff. So, um, I mean, I don't mind this not being to last me a lifetime. I mean, given the price. So, um, yeah, I, I, but they have actually lasted me for a while. I've had these for about a year plus, maybe almost two years. So these are definitely a good investment. They cost next to nothing, as I said, it's so cheap and they are um, so portable and light to carry. So 
in essence, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. When you are in a hotel room like this and you don't necessarily want to go out, you know, go to a gym or anywhere else, basically you just want to stay in your room, bring something light and portable like this with you and they can serve uh, so much. It's so functional and multi-purpose. This obviously, the, the most important uh, thing about resistance bands is that it adds uh, load, okay, to your, or resistance basically to your workout. So it makes your workouts harder and you can still stay in line with your, or in track, on track with your progression, right? So you don't have to worry about not uh, being able to progressively overload um, if, you know, as you would do with uh, weights um, in, in the gym. So I just had a quick change um, and I am in much more comfortable clothes right now. The essentially my workout clothes. Just couldn't stand being my suit any longer. So uh, I wanted to show you, um, I did say earlier that um, these are so multi-purpose and multifunctional. So I just wanted to show you exactly how to use these resistance bands uh, the proper way. So normally when you purchase them online like this, you get the whole set, okay, whether or not you buy a Chinese knockoff one or a really you know branded uh, an expensive branded one you, you get the full set of bands with different um, resistance um, uh, resistance uh, value threshold I don't know so I, I think you get my point right so you get the whole set um, normally it's five different bands and they're all colored differently to indicate the, the resistance um, strength I guess that's the word I was looking for just now strength um, and then you also get this anchor and so this anchor you can slip under the door like that I'll just show you quickly okay so this um, little uh, fabric little bit here that's threaded to this rubber thing goes underneath like that actually it should go the other way so this thing goes to the outer outer side of the door all right, and then you can shut the door, all right, close. And then what happens next is you just insert the, the, the bands. This is the handle that is attached to the end of the band using sort of a, a, a key, not a keychain, but um, what are these called? Uh, uh, carab car car is it called carabinos? Carab something like that, but it's like those mountaineering clips, almost, almost, almost the same ones, right? Carabiners, carabina, Car carabino. I don't know, but yeah, you get what I mean. So these handles attach to the, the the hook there, and then you can just slip it through. It's almost like a like threading through the hole in in a needle. So same thing, you just thread the resistance band through the um, the door anchor like that, and then you have it. And then so you can do so many things. Um, or so many different exercises with this for example if you're going to do um upper body so you can do a lot of um since i'm holding the camera in one hand so i'll just show you basically if you're doing upper body all right um you can do some uh rows like that for your back so you're doing um if you're going to work on your back muscles your scapula um your shoulders this is a good exercise if you want to do lower body, right, for uh, say your, your hamstrings, your calves, basically your legs, what you can do is you can just use these handles, slide your foot in, okay, obviously stand up, okay, and then what you do is if I can do this all with just one leg, with no counterbalance or counterweight acting to stop the band from going out of of the the anchor slipping out of the anchor is you just do sort of kicks like that and that's a great uh, way to work the hamstrings and obviously the more bands you have the more resistance it's going to be so like for me right now because i'm still um recovering from my injury i'm obviously not going to use as many uh, bands here so i'll probably use the lightest one which is the yellow or I'll just use the red one right so depending on your situation if you are having you know you're recovering from injury you're nursing an injury just uh, use your common sense and don't overwork yourself now depending on on your room and what you have around you you can find other ways to use your band as well here um, and how to sort of anchor it down 
So that's one way to use the door. And that's why they typically, typically come with these anchors. Another way is to make use of handles. Now, just be careful because this one, this railing is attached to a glass door. So just make sure that it is, you know, sturdy and, and firm like that. So what you can do is instead of using this anchor, all right, again, trying to do this with just one hand, okay? Take, take it out of the, um, right, I'm not even sure where I'm going with this. Okay, so take it out of the anchor and slide this through like that, okay? And here, you have a sort of a, diff a slightly different contraption, but the whole, the mechanism is pretty much the same, is that you need to anchor it to something that is firmly in place so that you can, um, you can stretch the band, right? As a form of resistance. But obviously this is not gonna work because the door opens this way. So it's probably better for you to, if, but obviously it's it's no good trying to do it inside the bathroom, right? So if the door opens this way, then it's gonna be a bit of a problem. But anyways, just showing you the many ways that you can um, attach the band, you know, uh, to something that is uh, well in place, um, like, like the railing like this, using the door anchor like that and sliding it underneath the door. And just basically anything that you can find where you can hook the band into place yeah and it can stay there and it's firm it's in place it's um it won't move basically and it can hold your weight so when it comes to travel and making things portable light and you know uh, lightweight easy for you to carry around always go for something um as simple as this yeah bands are so versatile it, it's it definitely a must-have if you want to incorporate um an active lifestyle you know, you want to make sure that you are on track with your fitness at all times, especially if you're on the road uh, a lot. You know, I'm not on the road a lot anyways. Um, I, I have these kind of um, outstation, you know, jobs um, maybe once or twice a year. I mean, for, for this long, for an extended amount of time. Um, normally, if it's just an overnight thing or less than, say, two nights, um, I don't really carry any equipment around with me. But I what I do make sure is that um, the most fun, the most basic thing I can do to keep uh, keep up with my fitness is definitely get my steps in, right? So it's normally my target is always ten thousand steps a day, uh, whether or not I'm traveling. But on days like this where I am really tired at the end of the day, I don't push myself obviously to go for the ten thousand. But um, so far now, I would say that I am uh, well over six six and a half thousand steps. So I, I, I reckon like by the end of tonight, I'll probably get 8,000 steps in and that would be enough. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll, I'll check in uh, again with you sometime later on. But this is it for now. This is just uh, day one um, of my four-day uh, business trip here. Um, and I think this will do it for, for this video. Just a short one um, to let you guys know what essentials you should carry with you when you travel. All right. Have a good one and thanks for watching. See you next time.